If you go into cardiac arrest on an airplane, it's not your lucky day, unless that plane carries three area nursing instructors. Our Greg Kozel tells us what happened on one memorable flight. It wasn't fate that put Bell Westbrook on a Southwest Airlines flight from Houston to Kansas City on September 15th. She was simply returning from a training seminar with two fellow nursing instructors from Trenton's North Central Missouri College. Fate, however, might have played a role in Westbrook sitting next to a woman who couldn't wake her husband as the plane made its final descent to KCI. And I reached up and felt his pulse and he didn't have a pulse. So I unbuckled my seat, uh, jumped up, spun around, faced him, and started doing compressions. So it was pretty loud because as the plane's going down, the engines kind of roar. And so I was um, screaming for help that I needed the AED and uh, we needed oxygen and was there a doctor on board? There wasn't, but three NCMC nursing instructors sprang to action. We're used to an inpatient setting where we have all of our tools um, and all of our supplies right there. This time we had our coworkers <laughs> and um, we had very limited supplies, but you know we did what we knew we could do and leaned on each other for support and information and um, the outcome was successful. Westbrook helped move the man to the floor for CPR as Bestian and nursing instructor Sophia Swink administered oxygen and prepared the defibrillator. The man was revived and able to walk with assistance to a waiting ambulance after the plane landed. I, I wish we could know what happened to him. That's my biggest thing. He just he still didn't look good, but he was awake and talking. Westbrook doesn't know much about the man whose life she saved, other than the fact that he had tickets for that night's Chiefs game. She's humbled that she gave him a chance to see more football in the future. It's We're servants. We're public mm -hmm. servants. This is what we do. Um, I would do it a hundred times over. Um, and so would my sisters. For News Press Now, this is Greg Kozel.